Alrighty guys, welcome back to the BRZ rebuild. Over here we got the car. Everything's pretty much put back on it. For now, not everything, but pretty close to it all. Just getting it all mocked up so that way we can see what, what else we need to fix, what else is, or what's good on it so far. We really just wanted to see how the inside from the headlight bracket, let me see if I can find it on camera. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm not that good yet to follow my finger, but that's besides the point. Over here, we got the body lines. They're pretty well, or they're pretty good so far. And that's that's how they are on both on both sides. And uh, as of right now, it's looking it's looking pretty good. The car looks like it's almost ready to drive. Like he said, like my brother said in the last one as well, we got all the studs swapped over. So really, I'm not gonna do too much talking on this video on the entrance of this video, but. We're gonna go ahead and start tearing this thing apart. I'm a one-man crew today. Nobody else is here except for me right now. So I'm recording. Hopefully the, the quality of it's pretty sturdy. The camera's pretty straight, but I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing this thing apart. Hopefully we can start welding the bottom piece, but I do have to do a few more tests fits and to see if the, the rebar as well will fit. That's right back there. You see, oh, right there, found it this time. But we also got some more vice grips and whatnot, so that way, Whenever we get back, or whenever I tear back into this thing, I can go ahead and uh, and clamp it together better and get it all set up straight. And a few more parts came in, like our air box, our uh, hood hinges, hood latch, coolant reservoir stuff, just a bunch of miscellaneous parts. And they're all right there on the ground. We'll just get right into the teardown. So I got the um, crash bar, rebar, bumper, whatever you want to call it. Everybody calls it something else, but I got this put up, mocked up. Everything fits right. I got the bumper put in and then I, I went ahead and just took it off real quick. So that way we could get right into welding. And there are a few wires here and there that are kind of in our way, but I put a wet rag over them. Like you can see here, if you want to come in closer, there's a wet rag here that I covered the wires and I'm not going to be welding too much in that area. It's really just one spot weld there. I'll let it cool off and kind of bounce around the car and spot weld different corners and different spots of the car so that way nothing overheats and nothing kind of burns through when it warps. So we'll get right into welding. This right here is what happens whenever you don't have a, uh, a the right cock gun. Yeah, for the same sealer, it's too small too. I think <laughs> I just poked the broomstick through. <laughs> <laughs> We're pros at this. Yeah, this is how I always do. I don't even use a cock gun actually. Put a sim sealer back where it was originally just so it gives it that OEM look. I don't want any water getting back in there behind there. I try to do 
my best on recreating the OEM finish with a piece of cardboard, but we'll see how it turns out. I guess we could see how it turns out right now once I pull this, finish pulling this tape off, but really well, gonna, to hey, find the OEM, blend door to find the OEM finish, you don't really need, you don't really need uh, any special tools. And it doesn't need to be perfect either. It just needs to be, it just needs to cover this last piece here. The stuff is nasty though. It gets all sticky and it gets all- It would've been nice to get gloves and actual right tools too. I mean, it turned out decent actually. Yeah, it's not bad. I it just know. looks worse when you have the tape on, but when you actually take the tape off, it looks pretty good. Yeah, and then you have these ugly runs here, but that can just be fixed easily. Yeah. Once but, you paint it. I, I think it turned out pretty good. This one after you paint it yeah my spot welds my spot welds aren't the best i haven't, haven't spot welded in a couple years easily and haven't really welded for a couple years either so i think for the first time back in into cars and welding i don't think it turned out too bad hopefully when we get on the pickup because we have a ton of spot welds to do on there too so yeah, we still have that cap corner cut out we never uh <laughs> ended up fixing yeah, i have previous videos of the restoration as well, which we are going to get back onto that as well. And now we have the other side. We got a seam seal as well. The other side, I wanted to, I wanted to seam seal a little bit more, so I got it all taped up nice. We're going to get a seam sealed, and and then we're going to. I already got this piece scuffed up here, the front end core support, and we're going to go ahead and tape it up and get it ready for painting as well. Well, so. yeah, well. I don't think we really talked much about that bottom piece and what we've done to it so far, but we basically just spot welded everything on, got everything lined up perfect, basically, and then yeah, that, sanding down all never, the spot welds that aren't looking the greatest, so. Yeah, really just touching everything up, and then the, the reason we're going to throw paint over it is so it doesn't rust in the future. I and, don't want it rusting, and it's already fully open, so well, might as well. And we wanted to actually paint, like, this gray, so then it kind of matches the OEM, the actual OEM paint and stuff. I mean, I think yeah, it I came think gray and you'll kind of I think you'll kind of see this once you put the car back together. And if we already have it this far apart, we might as well go ahead and paint it all and make it look nice. But my spot welds aren't the best. I keep looking at them and I'm, <laughs> I'm shocked by how ugly they are. But. I mean, for how long you have spot welded for? I mean, they're looking decent holding it's it probably, on. It should be fine. It's probably been like two years or more, but. Yeah, I mean, once he was in, whenever he was in school, so. Yeah, I went, to, I went to school for two years for collision, and I haven't done it in probably another year, year, two years roughly, so. Yeah, so uh, we'll now, probably go ahead and actually start seam sealing the other side, right? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start sealing, seam sealing the other side. We'll just put you guys on like a time lapse, so that way you guys can see it get we, done. Yeah, we kind of just showed you guys what we actually did on the other side, so. Yeah, it's the we'll same, just, same procedure, yeah, same, same thing procedure. Here put it on, wipe it around, and then you, you kind of want to follow the same pattern as your old seam sealer, just so it looks pretty. But nobody's going to see it back under there anyway, but I just want to make sure there's seam sealer in there so it doesn't rust because the, the metal kind of overlaps each other in that in that. Yeah, pocket, and that's so. to the actual frame row, which it's pretty yeah, it's pretty critical to actually have the seam sealer too. Though. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to seam seal this edge, and then... We're gonna go ahead and start taping everything up, really, and just paint it. Paint this piece exactly how it is. I mean, you just can't take it off now. It's fully welded, so we're just gonna go ahead and tape everything up nice. Throw a sheet of plastic up here at the end of it, and we're gonna go ahead and get it as well.
Alrighty guys, so now that we now that we got this front core support all all uh, welded up and painted, we went ahead and pulled the rest of the calipers off as well. And uh, we already went and painted those. We didn't do it on camera, but we did paint them. And I guess you guys will just find out what we painted them whenever we get them back on the car. Nothing crazy, like how everybody says, um, look forward to all the mods that are coming to the car. And then all they do is paint the calipers, but it was just something simple. We were waiting for some parts to come in. We were waiting for other stuff like this paint to dry here so we can do so we can do like other stuff in here without getting trash all on our paint. So after we uh, get everything put in place, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing started, like crank it up, see if, see if we could get it on a little test drive just to make sure everything goes good. We haven't gone through all the gears yet just because... We were having some uh, wheel issues. As we said before, the studs were all, whoever put the wheels back on on the auction, they kind of stripped out every single stud. So we had a big deal with pulling all the studs out and well, not a big deal, but it was just a lot of work pulling all the studs up and everything back on. So we just went ahead and threw it up on jack stands as you guys saw in the first video there. I went ahead and picked up the um, AC condenser line, this one. This one here, this one is kind of kinked up at the bottom. I went ahead and picked up the, the serpentine belt as well. And I figured I might as well grab them both from the dealer. O'Reilly's was a little bit cheaper than for the serpentine belt at least. It was a little bit cheaper, but I figured if I, if I had to go to the dealer anyway to grab the AC condenser line, since O'Reilly's was like almost like double the price almost at O'Reilly. So I figured I might as well go get OEM part for that one. So I went ahead and picked up that from O'Reilly, and now we're just going to go ahead and get these swapped out, get the serpentine belt on, and get, get the stuff installed so we can start putting on the condenser and uh, radiator, so we'll get right into it. Like I said in the first video, we didn't throw anything away because we actually needed some brackets. And if we would have tossed it, we would have wasted these brackets right here, which are perfectly fine. And these are the these are the brackets that hold the uh, the radiator in place. And if we didn't have these, I didn't even really think about anything like having brackets up top. But you can kind of see here how it's kind of flimsy. But we also got the other one as well, so we got both of them. It's just miss missing a bushing, but I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. We'll find it. But other than that, everything will go in place exactly how it should.
we put a lot of this stuff back together. We got the uh, brakes fully bled because we did paint the calipers. I don't know if you guys saw them on the video or not. They are red and they look, they look a lot better than they did. It's not like some crazy mod that we did, but we just wanted to paint them so they look a little bit better. We bled the brakes. We got all of our air boxes back in. We, we bled the cooling system. We pulled a vacuum on it. And then we got the entire front. We got the radiator fan behind there put in. We got all this, the radiator, the air, the condenser, just everything kind of put together. And then now we're gonna go take it on a test drive to see how it's running. We're gonna start it up and pull it out just to see how it's running first. And then if, it, if it's idling good, we'll go ahead and go on a test drive, so. driving it now we did a few roller shots before and now letting the owner drive it because i was driving it earlier right. but how's how is the driving manual uh, it's not bad i mean i need to get used to i'm garbage <laughs> like right here we're coming up to a stop hopefully i don't uh stall it so <laughs> i already stalled it three times or twice you know so we'll see how he does taking off from here hopefully i don't do a burnout well, it wasn't too bad it wasn't bad. I thought it would be worse. But oh, shoot, man. <laughs> now, now it was pretty bad, but uh, it just takes practice. Yeah. Everything feels pretty good. The temperatures are sitting. Yeah, about halfway. About, yeah, about where it should be. Halfway. We just kind of got to take it slow so the hood doesn't pop up. Since you, I don't know if you guys I think we got a video of us just tying it down with like a little piece of wire. So. Yeah, I, did, I did my redneck engineering. I, I had a couple classes on, on redneck engineering, so a couple classes of uh redneck science actually we had yeah, that red, redneck science you could call it but <laughs> we're just taking it on the street a little bit just to, we got a little bit this of rollers is, we're, this is in mexico though so don't do this we're we're highly trained professionals Ooh. to take wrecked cars on the road so but either way we're not going to be taking it like we're not going to go ham in it because it's not a hundred percent we just wanted to see how it, it, it drives uh -oh. <laughs> He's in too, too uh -huh. high of a gear. <laughs> what the? You gotta go into a lower gear. I don't know, maybe we have a blown trans, but it seems to be shifting pretty good. I don't know. We'll just have to figure that out. What that noise is once we get this car put together i don't right now it's making it the clutch fluid no but the we clutch should... was screeching weird it was squeaking weird we should probably pull this thing over and check the clutch fluid you know because uh, we, we, we could just turn it around right here and take it we'll, back to yeah, the we're shop, gonna take it back to the shop we'll just catch you guys back at the shop checking everything out yeah. we just wanted to do a, a, a quick test drive today just to make sure everything's working properly which so far everything seems to be working pretty good the clutch still has a few a few issues we had we have to fix it's kind of screeching and making some ugly noise but we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing back at the shop so we'll catch you guys there
Alrighty guys, so we just got done from taking it on the test drive. We thought it was leaking coolant, but it was just the excess coolant that kind of dumped over. And there is a, a piece of the exhaust hanging right below that. So once it got hot, it burnt up and it, we thought it was leaking. Yeah, it was smoking a little bit whenever we stopped. We kind of got scared, but it was nothing major. Yeah, it was smoking a little bit, but that's fine. Before we took it on the test drive, we just zip tied everything up, make sure nothing gets in the way. And then that'll be it for this video. Also, I don't know if we talked about the trains because the trains is oh, yeah, actually... The, the trains was having... We're not sure if... It's the, rattling whenever I'm... Whenever you put it in gear and you start driving, you start getting up a little bit higher. RPM starts rattling yeah. a little bit. So, I guess time will tell. We're just going to keep kind of working on it, finishing it up. And then once we get it fully buttoned up, because the trains we could drop at a different time. It, it may not even be the trains. It could yeah. just be something I else. We don't know what it stuff is. And it was saying that the trains have have a common issue with the brz's that it rattles kind of it was a customer complaint so we're not for sure what that is yet we're going to do some more research on it and if we have to i guess it's not the end of the world it sucks but we can always swap the trans or rebuild it one of the two but that'll be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe like the videos that really helps us a lot to grow so that'll be it for this video we'll catch you guys next time